Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will test out a new workflow based on coin models and LoRa's to do face swapping with extreme precision. To do that, we will need basically two image, the target body image and target face image. Then using a custom workflow, we can swap faces between the two images with only one click and obtain stunning results. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to edit any type of image using this face swap technique. So without further ado, let's get started. So basically the workflow is based on two LoRa model, the coin consistent edit and the coin face two person. Each model can generate a consistent image for body person using an auto cropping image of the target face. So uh, based on that, I needed to do some masking and I regrouped everything uh, on this inpainting model conditioning notes in order for us to do the face swapping results. If you focus here, you can see that I am using a Nushaku coin uh, image LoRa loader which is a new node. So first thing off, you need to install this node. You can find the link under my description here. All you have to do here is copy and paste this link, go to the GitHub web interface, copy the code, then you can go to ConfiUI root folder and search for custom nodes. Here you can type in CMD, then type in git clone, paste the code here and click enter. It is practically the only node that you need to install. Once it is done, you can restart your comfy UI. Then here, type in Nunchaku, Quen, and you will find the LoRa stack or the LoRa loader. I test out the, the, the two versions, but the, the LoRa stack gives me the best results. Okay, once it is done, you need to download the other LoRa file, and we will start by the Quen image edit face to person. And as you can see, it is a Quen LoRa model that allows you uh, to generate full body person using a cropping image of a uh, face. Here you can observe the example provided by uh, this website and it managed to create uh, consistent images of this lady using uh, this input image. So all you have to do here is clicking on file and version and download this uh, model safe tensor. Once it is done, make sure to rename it, then copy and paste it under uh, comfy wire root folder, models, then LoRa models. The other LoRa model that we need is the coin consistent LoRa. Make sure also to copy this link, paste it here, and you can see that this model is also a good uh, LoRa model since it allows you to keep your original image consistent while doing some modification. Like for example here, they managed to add uh, this uh, dress of the second uh, image of this lady to the first original input image here while keeping the other details consistent. Make sure to download this version too. And uh, you need to pay attention to the LoRa strength. As you can see, you can use uh, between 0 0.5 and 1 for multiple images. However, a value of 0 and 0 0.5 uh, can do the job for a single image. So once your download is finished, make sure to also copy this LoRa here. And we are good to go. But before going any further, if you have uh, some missing nodes here, the best way to fix that is to go to Comfy UI Manager then cl click on install missing custom nodes. It will install every necessary node for you without uh, bothering you too much. Like for example, the crop face, the uh, clothing, the auto masking nodes that I used here and uh, all the other nodes. I also noticed that uh, most of the comments ask me uh, how to install the Nunchaku Quen uh, image loader nodes. Uh, and the best way to do that is uh, to use my the easy install uh, that allows you to install uh, every necessary nodes uh, easily. If you are struggling to install the, this uh, Nunchaku nodes, make sure to watch the, my previous tutorial. You can find the link under my description and it will help you a lot uh, on how to install every Nunchaku uh, nodes. Uh, either it is for Flux or a Coin Image. Now that we have everything that we need, let's dive into the workflow. Okay, now that we have everything installed, let's talk about the workflow. Here, the first step is, uh, as you can see, is to load the necessary model uh, for the Nunchaku uh, version of this coin. I am using the Lightning version with four steps. Then uh, I set the number block on GPU uh, to five. You can uh, increase this number according to your GPU. After that, we have the Nunchaku coin image LoRa stack. It allows you to use uh, multiple LoRa's with uh, one single node and uh, you can uh, select the number of LoRa that you can use here by increasing or decreasing this number here we are only need uh, we only need the uh, two uh, LoRa make sure to select the coin consistent edit and the coin phase 2 person LoRa 
how the coin consistent is for the coin face two person uh, once you download the model it is uh, not named uh, as coin uh, face two person make sure to rename the the model in order to find it more easily as for the strength you can see that we have a lower strength of 0 0.75 for this consistent edit and for the second LoRa, we have a value of 0 0.82 I try to increase and decrease those value, but the, this combination gives me the best results. So once it is done, I also add up here an easy cache nodes in order to boost up your speed generation. You can uh, enable this if you want to increase your speed. However, if you have a good graphic card, you can bypass this by clicking Ctrl and V. And everything is uh, set here to differential diffusion in order to be set as a model. We have here the load clip and VAE for the coin which are classic mo models that we used to work with. Then our second step is to load the necessary images. As you can see, I am setting this uh, image of a lady as the target body. Then we have here the load image reference face. And what is that meaning is I want to swap the face of this lady here to this uh, lady on the, sitting on the beach. So this one is going to be my reference face and this one is going to be my reference target body. And to do that, we have here uh, our layer utility image scale, where we will uh, scale up our both images to the same scale practically. Then we have this uh, special nodes here called crop face, where it will analyze the image in order to crop the face uh, of a person. Either it is a man or a woman, it will do the same job. It will analyze the image and it will only focus on the head. Once it is done, this uh, crop uh, face uh, image is going to be set in here as our uh, reference image for the text encode coin image edit plus. And the main reason that, that we are doing this crop face is we're going to need this one as the reference image for the text encode coin image edit plus. Since we are using uh, LoRa's that uh, create images based on the crop uh, image face. As for the target body, we will need this image in order to do some segmentation here and auto masking. And the best way to do that is through those uh, nodes here that can do auto masking for you. All you have to do here is select the face, hair, hat, uh, uh, upper clothes, skirt. We have different uh, combination here. And uh, since we are doing the face swapping, so make sure that you have the face select to true. Once it is done, it's going to take this uh, reference body image in order to create a mask on this image. As you can see, we have uh, also this draw mask on image nodes that allows us to, to visualize the, uh, the mask on the reference image. And here we have a uh, mask preview nodes where we will see the face of uh, the mask on the face of this image. For this example, it uh, managed to create a mask around the face, but also around the neck. Okay, once uh, everything is uh, set, this mask is going to be plugged here into this in-paint model conditioning. And if you remember well, we used these nodes in our uh, video tutorial about uh, coin image in-painting. This node is very useful for in-painting results. And uh, it will uh, take into consideration our mask that we created here, but also the image of uh, the target body that you need to plug here uh, into pixel uh, case. Once it is done, this one is going to use the positive, the negative prompt in order to create uh, the swap faces uh, uh, images. And the last thing that you need to take into consideration is the prompting. As you can see, I added the CoinVL auto prompting for you if you are lazy uh, to do uh, prompting and it will help you out to create a prompt for, of uh, this uh, reference target body image in order to use it as a positive prompt. Otherwise, you can simply use uh, manual prompting and it doesn't uh, need too much information. Like for example, here we are using photography, a woman wearing white clothes in the beach. And it is uh, a brief description of this uh, image. Once it is done, all, all those information are gonna go to our key sampler. As you can see, I am setting the steps to eight. You can set it to four if you uh, like more speed. The CFG is set to 1, the sampler name is set this time to ERSDE, and the scheduler is set to simple. As for the denoise, you can choose value between 0 0.7 and 0 0.9. We are not using a denoise value of 0 point, uh, of 1. For example, here, we need to decrease this value since uh, we have some modification on the image here. As you can see, the hair doesn't look so much good since we are using a high denoise value.
So the best way to fix that is by playing with the denoise value in order to obtain the good results. Good. Once uh, you have everything set, make sure to click run and the workflow will do the face swapping uh, for you. Okay, now let me show you the results I get using this workflow. The first one is the image of this Nordic lady created for uh, with Fluxcrea model and you can clearly see the difference between uh, the two images. Here we managed to get the uh, good uh, face swapping, however the result is not as much good as it should be. But for this second image, you can clearly see that uh, we have uh, different uh, results. The face looks uh, quite good, however we still managed to get those details here. And as I told you before, the best way to fix that is by playing through the denoise value. The same goes for this lady here. We managed to obtain uh, flawless results, but uh, we still uh, get this artifact here about this uh, star here. And it goes the same for all other results. Once you found out the good denoise value, you can obtain different results and uh, it is quite acceptable uh, as face swapping method. I also tried different uh, input image as you can see here. I add this image uh, on the left uh, of uh, this uh, lady holding a uh, sign. Then I add uh, this uh, second lady with pink hair as a reference uh, face. And we managed to obtain these results, which is quite impressive. More consistent result compared to the previous input image. I also did the same with this one and we still uh, obtain good results. Then I wanted to do that with the image of men's. As you can see, I use this uh, old uh, man uh, wearing suits as a reference image and uh, this young boy as a target face image and the results were, are also acceptable. I did the same with the, this older man. The results was also good at the exception of the neck here. You can clearly see that uh, it creates a bad part of this uh, image. I also add this uh, black man here and it was also perfect. Then I wanted to try if the model can do the face swapping on the tilted head. As you can see, it managed to do the face swapping without any uh, other issues. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. I did not compare this uh, workflow with other uh, face swap uh, nodes like the reactor, the ACE, and uh, also the Quen uh, LoRa model that allows you to do face swapping with the other workflow. But uh, this one gives me a good and consistent results. It allows you to do face swapping even with the tilted head and different position. It also can handle the gender without any issues. So uh, it can be a good workflow if your intention is uh, to uh, do some face swapping. And uh, the most important thing here it is it can uh, run on the low VRAM uh, graphic card using only uh, four steps and uh, low denoise value. The other important thing is that we can use this uh, Nunchaku Coin image LoRa stack since we did not have a dedicated node for a Quen uh, LoRa loader, but now we have uh, these uh, nodes here that can help us uh, in different uh, use cases. So if you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, leave me some comments down below, and don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow and ask me for additional help. Thank you.